Hello and welcome to today's presentation on Xylus, exploring consumer perception about premium watches in the Indian context. Today we're presenting by Lucas Ledru, Yulin Zhu, Kristen Ash, and Alexander Williamson, myself. We're going to be talking about the company description, the industry outlook, the history of Indian watches, growth in the environment, the brand personality, and the difference of current and prospective buyers, also the competitive positioning that the brand has, as well as our competitors, and giving recommendations for Xylus. We aim to explore Xylus, an Indian premium watch company. We're going to reflect on the changing landscape of the industry and the symbolic association of watches in Indian culture. Then we're going to also talk about the brand's personality and the perceptions between current buyers and prospective buyers. Lastly, we're going to provide tips on how to position Xylus and the future recommendations we have for the brand. Xylus is a luxury component to the Indian watch brand Titan. It features Swiss made premium watches created for the new generation achievers who strive beyond the obvious. In summary, they're priced between 10,000 and 33,000 Indian national rupees. It has over 60 distinctive models and offers three different collections, sporting, class, and contemporary. They've collaborated with famous designers and aim to convey style, attitude, and power. They've also undergone uh, recent brand positioning and identity changes, and their target market is on the lower spectrum of the luxury watch section. In the industry outlook, we're going to talk about history. In 1960, the Indian watch industry began. With 1962, HMT was the first major watch from manufacturer launched in India. It was a monopoly. And by 1984, Titan Limited was formed. And three years later, the retailing watches started in India from Titan and became the undisputed leader in India. In 1992, the Indian market opened to foreign firms with 51% of the investment in a single brand retail operation and global brand subsidiaries. By 1999, the new export import policy introduced relax the upper bars on imports of luxury watches. Concerning the growth in the environment, before 1960, watches in India were sourced exclusively from imports from foreign companies. Also, the demand was very low and specific and consumers were liking to... Oh, sorry. No, can, can we do it again? I'm so Demand was low and specific and oriented toward mechanical high-end watches. The mass consumption began in, Ch in India with the quartz revolution and overall wages increase within the Indian market. The quartz revolution lowered the production cost and allowed the watch market and watches to be more accessible for companies. In India, the development of the culture of the local watchmaking sector is due to liberalization of the market, the overall increase in local wages, and the need for consumers to buy symbols of their success and identity. Indian consumers are looking for goods that are functional, durable, and also reflect their personalities. So self-perception is important for the Indian market in terms of watches. For example, Indian consumers are fans of established brands with strong reputations such as Rolex, Omega, and Tissot. So this, oh. okay. this is a brand personality chart from our potential buyers. Here we see that potential buyers care about the reliability of a brand as well as how successful that brand is and how honest they perceive the brand to be. For our potential consumers, community events and news were important to them, so they spent an hour more or per day collecting information on news. So it's important for Xylus to show that they are relevant. Uh, and potential consumers also wanted their achievements to be recognized by their peers and other people. In comparison to our current buyers, we see that Potential buyers and current buyers both care about brand reliability. They both care about how honest they perceive a brand to be. And current buyers also care about how exciting a brand is. It's important for Xylus to show to both target demographics that they are a reliable brand and that they are honest with their consumers about what to expect from their brand. 
Now we're going to speak about competitive positioning. Concerning the competitive analysis, there are two main competitors to Xylis, Tissot and Seiko, and also other fashion brands. First, Tissot is a high-end Swiss watch brand with a strong international reputation for precision and innovation. The brand has a 155 years history and has developed its presence in more than 150 countries. Tissot offers a wide range of watches from sports watches to more elegant and chic watches at a wide price range. Tissot aims to be a luxury brand. It has based its strategy on the card of high quality and renowned luxury at an affordable price for the Indian market and is more on the accessible luxury segment. Concerning Seiko, it operates in India through a subsidiary, which is Seiko Watch Corporation. Seiko is a well-known Japanese brand known for its quality at an affordable price and good value for money. Seiko is a true reference in the watchmaking world in terms of quality and customer relations and it as and Japanese quality in terms of watches is well known just as Swiss watchmaking. Also concerning the other fashion brands, we also have a competitors such as Emporio Armani and Hugo Boss that are operating more on the fashion segment and market for watches. So here's our Zales SWOT analysis. For the strengths, we find the brand has very strong, um, high quality and excellent craftsmanship. And it, it also Swiss made the tech with a unique style. As what we then to find a case, and also um, we have a find that the brands have no have um, no official social media accounts for the brands, um, which of course um, the brand has a very low engagement with the customers. They also have no any like new product information on LinkedIn. So that's why the brand definitely needed to put more efforts into digital marketing strategies. The target market also um, should expand to Generation Y and Z group since the price are affordable to the wide audience. And right now the young gen generation are the most powerful customers. And for the challenge the brands are facing right now is up end of a target customer move towards iconic global premium brands and also the competitors customers has more brand loyalty And as what we mentioned before, Tissot's strengths, um, besides they have a strong reputation and also with 150 years of a brand history, but the weakness of the brands is they are focusing on accessibility, which has a higher price point. For the second, the weakness is it's not Swiss made brand and with a low price point. Our first recommendation for Xylus is to take a look at their target market. We believe they should target male and female new generation Indian achievers who are highly independent, passionate, and have a passion for creativity. We want these watches to symbolize their individual lifestyles. So Xylus, focus, Xylus should focus on the lower spectrum of luxury watches so they can differentiate themselves from higher price point competitors. Here we have target market examples of male and female who are executives or of high socioeconomic status. In order to appeal to consumer interest, we think that Xylus should use their consumer data to emphasize their reliability and durability. Here they should use the celebrities they work with in their second campaign to show how the watch can best suit each of their needs in order to demonstrate to their target market how the watch can best meet their needs as well. In order to differentiate from their competitors, we believe that Xylus could decide to focus on narrowing down their product range. This is because Tissot, one of their competitors, has many lines of watches 
One line of watches could specifically target the new generation potential customer, as I listed in their second campaign. And the second line of watches would target professionals who are further along in their careers, and they could use their original brand positioning of falling in love for these professionals. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.